Minister, and with only 48 hours' notice, Louth County Council began a process to evict 23 traveller families from a halting site at Woodlawn Park in Dundalk. This was a shameful action. Those evicted included at least 22 children, some of them babies, only days old, and two pregnant women. And the distress and the trauma caused to these families, and especially for the children, was unnecessary and unreasonable. This was done without consultation by councillors. Now, I raised this, the issue of the halting site with the Chief Executive in November. I was on the site in December. I made representations during a Christmas week to the Council and to other agencies. And the basis on which the Council said that it carried out these evictions was a fire safety inspection. However, Louth County Council, like all other councils, was given a programme to review fire safety and traveller accommodation last December. And this was initiated after the tragic fire at the halting site in Carrick Mines, which saw 10 people, including five children, dying. And the report says, and this is very clear, nothing in this fire safety review process is intended to be used to address the broader traveller accommodation issues in a negative way. But this is exactly what the Council is doing. The last five families in the Woodland Park site are being evicted today and tomorrow. Some of the women, including at least one pregnant woman, have had to sleep in a car for the past three nights. There's already a homelessness crisis in Louth. 5,000 people are on the housing waiting list. The Chief Executive Action has added to this crisis. So I'm asking for the Minister to intervene, to urgently agree to release the necessary funding to upgrade the Woodland Park site. This is the most cost-effective and common-sense resolution to this issue. Okay, uh, thank you, Gehirlach. Uh, I too want to raise the issue of the eviction of the 23 traveller families from Woodland Park in County Louth. Minister, I think it's quite incredible that the first response of the state in Ireland since the tragedy at Carrick Mines in relation to travelling people is to use that event to evict 23 families, including women and children, of course, from a site that they've been living on. And just so we're clear, this was a halting site in the past. It is not like it didn't function in that capacity before. But as we know, there's a housing emergency which even the government is beginning to acknowledge. But for travellers, it's even doubly more difficult, even if they wanted to, to access private rented accommodation. The Garda Public Order Unit were thought necessary to arrive on site on the Friday, um, only two days after the eviction notice had been pasted up for those families. It's very unusual, by the way, to see a council moving so swiftly to do anything in this country. But yes, the council felt it necessary not to go down to the site to engage with the travellers, to find out what health and safety issues there might be and how they might be rectified. There's no necessity to evict these families off the site to make it safe. All of these safety issues could have been done leaving those families in situ. And that was the stated aim of the report that followed Carrick Mines. The directive said, nothing in this process is intended to be used to address broader traveller accommodation issues in a negative way. Instead, what, what has been done is to push these families into the settled community against their wishes, by the way, which is not meant to be a policy that's done, breaking up extended traveller families and so on. On the coldest night of the year, that was the action of Louth County Council. Minister, I think you should condemn it. And I think that the Minister, uh, Alan Kelly, has been asked to intervene by Pave Point and should do so. Well, thank you, uh, Minister. Um, thank you, um, Lasko Hirlock. Um, deputies, Louth County Council has informed me um, that the Woodlands halting site in Dundalk was a purpose-built permanent and transient site. However, it has been vacant since 2007. Uh, when the last of the two occupants of the site at that time were accommodated by the construction of two dwellings in a group housing site at the edge of the site. The illegal occupation of this site has been ongoing since April of last year, and the inspection of Woodland hal Halting Site, which gives rise to the eviction of the families last Friday on safety grounds, was conducted prior to the commencement of the review process and the publication of the project um, initiation document and the guide to fire safety in existing traveller accommodation, which was commissioned by my department after the Carrick Mines fire. 
Legal advice was obtained by Loud County Council and Junior Council appointed, and a complaint was subsequently made to Angarda Siakana, who served a notice to evict. Uh, Gardaí enforced the direction by moving caravans on Friday last, uh, the 15th of January. Since the site was occupied last year, it is unclear uh, who, in fact, has been in <coughs> occupation there. However, I do understand that recent events have indicated that there were 28 temporary dwellings on site, occupied by 18 households. The original site has been significantly vandalised and requires substantial works to bring it back to a habitable uh, condition. Numerous requests were made by the Council over recent months that the families should leave the site, but these requests were ignored. Recent Loud County Council traveller accommodation programmes haven't identified a, a demand for a, a halting site accommodation at this location. The current traveller accommodation programme 2014 to 2018 includes only one household who had indicated a preference for traveller specific accommodation amongst all the forms of social housing supports that are available. Loud County Council has been actively engaged with the families and their representatives to try and meet their short-term accommodation needs, while also scoping and planning for meeting their traveller-specific accommodation needs in the medium to longer term. Loud County Council met yesterday afternoon with representatives from the travelling community concerned with Woodlands Park. A number of short-term solutions were discussed and agreed at that meeting, and the Council is committed to continue working with the representatives of Woodlands Park towards a longer-term solution. At the meeting yesterday evening, a number of short-term solutions were offered, which also focus on a review of the Traveller Accommodation Programme. To that end, the Council is facilitating all households and families who wish to make applications to be considered for housing or amend their accommodation type choice. A letting agent has been appointed to assist in the sourcing of private rented accommodation, and it appears that many of the households were in the private rented sector prior to, to the occupation of this particular site. Also, the Council has offered to accommodate households in alternative halting sites in the county, which are vacant or semi-vacant. The local Traveller Accommodation Consultative Committee has been convened to meet tomorrow to commence the review of the Traveller Accommodation Programme. The Council is also commencing the capital appraisal of the Woodlands halting site with regard to potentially developing it as a permanent traveller-specific housing project and have planned meetings for the next couple of days with potential partners who may assist in that regard. The agreement reached between Loud County Council and the traveller representatives on Friday, 15th of January, remains in place and it is the central focus of the work of the Council in respect of traveller accommodation. Therefore, I am satisfied that Loud County Council is committed uh, to working with the traveller families and their representatives to ensure the provision of accommodation of their choice in which they can feel safe. Uh, last the point about your answer. There's no point coming in here and reading a prepared script about an issue you know nothing about. I asked you, would you intervene to ensure that the money which the government have supplied is made available to refurbish the halting site up to appropriate health and safety standards. The Louth County Council are not working with the traveller families and their representatives to ensure the provision of accommodation of their choice, as you have in, in, indicated. That is not the case. And I want to remind you what the Minister for Equality promised last year. He promised that traveller ethnicity would be a reality. The government also promised equality and social inclusion for the traveller community. On the coldest night of the year, can you stand over and justify the forced uh, mass eviction of these families, up to 70 uh, people? There are some of them are on the side of the road, and the way they're sorted out, and it's very, very common sense, it's very cost effective. The money's there within your department is to have the site uh, brought up to health and safety standards, and then to work out with the traveller people in that uh, constituency appropriate taking or other uh, accommodation in keeping with their cultural needs. Yeah, right. um, Minister, I've heard replies in my time, but I have to say this takes the biscuit. First of all, you tell us that the reason that the council acted in this way was because the directive was issued before the Carrick Mines report came out. I mean, that is unbelievable. The Carrick Mines report has been known for, for weeks 
and, and should have been respected. It's just pathetic. But also, numerous requests were made by the Council over recent months that the families leave the site, but these were ignored. Yeah, Minister, that could be because they've nowhere to go. But yeah, you, you've the, the brass neck to come in and tell us that there's no uh, demand for traveller-specific accommodation in County Loud. Everything is hunky-dory in County Loud for travellers. But these families are living proof that there's a huge demand for accommodation and traveller-specific accommodation. Are you seriously trying to say that they just didn't bother registering their interest with the council? We all know that the failure of successive governments and councils uh, to accommodate travellers in any sensitive or meaningful way. I saw it myself in 11 years on Fingal, and they were no worse or no better than any other council. Travellers have been utterly failed by this state. And now, Minister, we have the situation where there's 23 families now homeless. You've added now to the homeless lists. 23 families who will have to be accommodated, I assume, in B&Bs or hotel accommodation, at Can huge cost to, to, this, to, to, to the state, please. when what could have been done is they could have been asked to comply with health and safety, they could have been given the means to stay and remain on site until there was proper permanent accommodation for them. Think of the money, the time and the energy that's been spent by the state, by the Gardaí, all of that should have been used and can be used to refurbish the existing traveller site and provide them with long-term accommodation. Okay, and I hope, Minister, you will allow or push that the representatives of the travellers who uh, were ignored when they brought a lawyer with them would now be accommodated by the Council. Um, thank you, Lasko Here, look, uh, first of all, whilst I do acknowledge and recognise the concern of the deputies, and you quite rightly raise it as, as a concern, I want to reject some of the um, charges you have made, and the statement that I have made to the Dáil is factual and correct, and it's the current situation in terms of the history of the site and what's going on in regards to the site. And I would also like to remind deputies that Louth County Council, being the housing authority, are the responsible authority in law for ensuring the implementation of the tra traveller accommodation programme. They are the responsible statutory um, authority. And I want to assure the deputies that I am committed, and the department and the government are committed, to ensuring that traveller accommodation needs will be met in a safe and sustainable way. I also have confidence that Louth County Council will work with the traveller families and all those concerned to ensure that the short, medium and long-term solutions will be found to the issues that you have raised here today. I also wish to put on the record that safety has to be paramount uh, and we need to offer reassurance that steps are being taken by my department in the context of the review of fire safety programme in traveller accommodation. Local authorities have been instructed to undertake site-specific appraisals and apply the appropriate fire safety measures in accordance with the approach and the recommendations of the Guide to Fire Safety in Existing Traveller Accommodation. And they are also required to submit an interim report on the progress of the review to the National Steering Group, which was established, uh, which was set up to oversee the review process by the end of this week. My department, I want to reassure the House, will continue to work with the local authorities and the National Traveller Representative Groups to ensure the continued provision of safe and secure accommodation for travellers in accordance with their choice and through the comprehensive local and national collaborative structures which are already in place. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, we'll give uh, 